You are watching during the day, mild mannered day, and at night, Super Hamlet. Da -da 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 -da. Comedy Central. <laughs> Hello, I'm Denitra Vance. I'm a vegetarian, and I used to work at Bloomingdale's. This is my favorite bag, the 85 bag. I think of myself as every woman and some men. Not too long ago, I went uptown to uh, pay a bill, and I held the door open for a woman because she had the, a cane in one hand, and someone was holding her arm, and I held the door open for her, and she said to me, thank you very much sir or miss. For y'all that don't know me, my name is Cabrini Green, Harlem Watch Jackson. I'm a, I'm a Libra. My favorite sport is running. I'm in the 10th grade. I'm 17 years old. I have two children. Um, my son's name is Kwanzaa Uhuru Razak Jackson. A little girl, her name is Tame Tequila Wachusi Jackson. <laughs> anyway, when I, was still in, when I was still in junior high school, I started missing all our days at the school. I started feeling really dizzy all the time. And even though I wasn't eating very much, I started to gain a whole lot of weight, you did. So on this one day, I was getting ready to demonstrate a back walkover, and I threw up. But no, no, I wouldn't have been embarrassed or nothing like that because I could have played it off or blamed it on somebody else. You know what I'm saying? But, but this other girl, she said, <laughs> Cabrini Green, I know you, Shay. Mm hmm I know all about you, girl. My brother told me you let Andre get all up in your panties. You didn't make him buy you a Big Mac or nothing. <laughs> anyway, when I got home, my mom was cooking some cornbread with black eyed peas, candy yam, collard green with neck bones, and some Kraft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I said, I said, hi, Mom. You want to hear a joke? I'm pregnant. <laughs> She said, how'd that happen? I said, how am I supposed to know how that happened? <laughs> you didn't teach me nothing about stuff like that. The school don't tell you nothing about stuff like that. You asking me how that happened? You know it didn't happen the way Mary got Jesus because we're not Catholic. <laughs> how'd that happen? How'd that happen? I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. I love my mama, you dig, but that day, she was getting on my very last nerve, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, anyway, you know, my mama, my mama didn't hit me or nothing like that because we got a good kind of a communication gap going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so mostly it was about, you know, I was staying at home, I watched a lot of TV, I watched, you know, soap opera, but I hate them things. I uh, was watching um, Gilligan's Islands reruns, uh, the Jetsons, the Flintstones. You know, I really love the Flintstones because they crack me up, you know, because Fred Head about that big and Wilma Body about that big. <laughs> and you think, how'd they ever get pebbles? <laughs> no, no, no. No, but, but anyway, you know, after about nine months of looking out of style and out of shape, I finally gave birth to Binky. We call Kwanzaa Uhuru or Zach Jackson Binky for short. And that same day, Andre came to the hospital to visit me. You know, he stepped up into my room, just as big as life, looking really good. I mean, really GQ. I mean, I didn't hardly recognize him without his radio and everything. <laughs> and he said, he said, he said, he said, uh, hey, Slim. And then he took a little bitty diamond ring out of his pocket. It wasn't in a box or nothing like that, because he got those sophisticated continental ways, you know. <laughs> he said, uh, yeah, Slim, Slim, this is your pre-engagement ring, because I've been thinking about planning on wanting to be asking you, will you marry me? <laughs> and it was just a little bitty chip of a diamond ring, but it looked it good to me. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, you know. And then we took some pictures of me and the ring and him and the ring and me and the baby and him and the baby and me and the ring and the baby and him and the ring and the baby. <laughs> it was, it was so romantical. And, and then the baby started to cry and I almost threw him on the floor. <laughs> I'm not used to that kind of thing. It irks me, it gets to my nerves. I don't want to deal with it. I said, buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> said, nurse, come and get this thing. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to be changing any fool. You know what? Diapers. So uh, when we was alone again, he said, uh, 
you still haven't answered my question. Will you marry me? And I looked at him, you know, he was so fine. He had some smooth brown skin and soft baby brown eyes. And I was looking at him and he was looking at me and he said, well. <laughs> and I said, you got to be on drugs. <laughs> What would I look like, 16 years old, married to some 17-year-old boy? Boy, boy, you don't see no boys. I'm a man. I said, how can you be a man? You don't even have a driver's permit yet, and you can't even grow a mustache. <laughs> I said, I said, Andre, I'm not interested in learning no kind of a wife routine unless there's going to be some cash money involved. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I just said, no. So I was like, why should I get married? To get my baby a last name? The baby can have my last name. It's Jack's the same as Andre. <laughs> And then I was thinking, should I get married and have some man beat me upside my head? I may be a product of Chicago public school system, but I can read. <laughs> and, um, and I've been reading about uh, wife abuse and child abuse and what they call that, um, macho sadism. <laughs> I said, no, nah, Andre, because I have plans for my life. I'm going to go on to finish high school, go on to college, give me a good education, get out, give me a job like a honey bear or a Dallas Cowgirl cheerleader <laughs> or, um, or a manager at a Burger King or McDonald's restaurant. You know what I'm talking about? Something to make a difference in people's lives. <laughs> so, you know, what happened after that was me and my friends would get together and talk about our experience with, with our children and our young men and things like that. And I was saying, you know, Tell him about the time when me and Andre was together the first time, and he said, he said, he said, uh, Slim, I'ma make this real good to you. And then we did it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> was it good to you? And I said, compared to what? <laughs> He said, he said, did you have an organism? <laughs> and I said, I said, what do I look like, an amoeba or something like that? <laughs> Boy, get out of my face. <laughs> so after these, after these discussions that me and my friends would be having, we decided to start this new group of which I'm an international chairperson. And the group is called Stop in the Name of Love. <laughs> That stands for single teenagers oppressed by pregnancy. <laughs> and, 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 um, and we have stop signs, stop t-shirts, stop watches, stop clocks. We got a thing you can put in the back of your car that go like this. <laughs> Because there's no need for a young girl to go through things that I've been through. They can learn from my experiences, right? So, um, you know, if y'all want to join the group, just see me after school, all right? You are watching. I'm the lava, I'm the meal. Speak a row, speak a row. Comedy Central.